Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tyler with Tarver Academy. I am so excited you are here. This is a great place to learn some stuff about pretty much anything. And uh, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. You can come back and find this resource later. So let's get started. Today, we're talking about in Google Chrome, how to keep information private with incognito. So if you'll notice in my Google Chrome browser, which this is, up in the upper right, if I click here, this is my account I'm signed into. Now, what I can do is I can actually like sign in and create a whole new window that is not accessing any of my saved passwords, my Google, my Gmail, all this other stuff. If you're in the classroom, you know, like one of the most frustrating things is whenever a student needs to present using your computer and they sign in to their account, they're just like, oh, I'm just gonna sign out of yours and sign into mine. It tries to sign you in as your student for like the next three months. And so this is a great way to allow them to sign in to their account and then exit out so it doesn't remember any of their information. So in the upper right hand corner, you see these three dots right here. Looks like an ant with the legs missing. So if you click that right there, you can go down to new incognito window. Now, if you're doing this with me right now and you do not see this option, that is most likely because you are signed into your school account or you're on the school Wi-Fi and the administrator for Google at your school has not approved incognito window. Now, from my personal opinion, I understand that because they don't want students signing in incognito, searching stuff that's inappropriate or that they shouldn't, and then Xing out and then not having any search history. Um, if you, that's why some schools turn it off. Now, a lot of schools leave it on. So you just click new incognito window, boom. It brings up a whole new window. So if I go to gmail.com, it's not gonna remember that I've signed into here, which I am. This is my Chrome, like I'm signed in. But with incognito, it's not. So it doesn't remember it. And if I sign in right here, as soon as I X out of this, it's gonna forget all of that. So, and it also doesn't remember your search history. So it's a great way to, when you're letting someone borrow your equipment, your devices, for them to sign in and not mess up any of your stuff or give them access to your stuff later. Because we've all clicked through stuff and accidentally saved passwords. So. Hope that was helpful. Hope that explained incognito. If you could, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. That'd be super helpful. And that way we could learn together through Google. And uh, thank you guys. Have a great one. Bye. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. You want me to come train you on Google? No, okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources, so. Thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure, but if you want to, I'll be here. I'm just gonna wait right here. Look at this lighting, oh wow.